Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to talk about something which creates a lot of pain, which even ruins people's life. And in some cases, it even kills people. It's a very sensitive topic. So, I would advise, if you are a person who has not reached to the adulthood, you don't have to watch this video anymore. This is nothing to do with religion. This is nothing to do with uh, uh, um, gods. This is about how can we lead a life as human beings. And the topic which I am going to talk is illicit relationship, extramarital affairs, all those sort of things. So as I said before, if you are a person who has not reached to the adulthood age as per your country, then you don't have to watch this video anymore. Desires, they have created a lot of pain. Just rewind your own life and see how much pain all these desires have created to you. Definitely, if there is pain, definitely that is because of a desire. And this particular desire, the bad thought which comes into your head, it has to be straight away substituted. As I always say, thoughts cannot be killed. It has to be sub substituted. Otherwise, I'm not scaring people. You may even lose your life. The thought has even spoiled lives in sometimes in Hindu Puranas as well. I will come to that Purana later. We think that the opportunities are all open for us to commit a sin and we try to take advantage of it. The time you take that, this particular desire, the time you give thinking that let me do it from next second onwards, you have lost your peacefulness. Every second of your life, you will be scared. By doing this, you are not ruining your own life, you are ruining someone else's life as well. So, step back and think. You don't have to think. You know clearly it is a wrong thing. It's called a curse. People who are cursed is the one who get involved in all these things. Because the curse is making sure that you will suffer. It wants to make sure. So, when these sort of opportunities come, just think that it is a curse coming and stay away from it. I am talking on behalf of everyone here. It is for your own benefit I am telling this. For you to lead a peaceful life, I am talking. Forget about whatever has happened all these days. Forget about the past. Think about the future. Do you want to spend all your life like this, fighting with your own conscience, living a life with fear, pain, struggle? It's your life. You have to decide what is good and what is bad for you. It's very, very difficult because when opportunity comes and it is a body need especially, 
mind knows that being uh, we can do puja we can do follow religion we will do lot of things but the body needs is different the body needs that but whatever you do try to do it in the right way don't try to find loopholes here and there by doing that you are spoiling your life and you are spoiling someone else life as well these sort of thoughts will completely transform you as a you know some sort of a criminal it will give you ideas to blackmail someone no technology is there anyone can take a snap of anything and then completely ruin their life as well and others life as well so the dangerous stuff is this sexual desire the reason is out of this all the different mayas or vasanas three of them mainly right what are they property money and the main thing is this sexual desire but property and the desire of money were never there when we were in our previous births like all the different stages of life like from one sense till sixth sense the the desire for property and desire for money was not there but the desire for sex is following us from the birth the first time from the one sense till sixth sense the sexual desire is following us and that is why saints sages they say the very difficult desire to overcome is the sexual desire and that is why goddess god has given when a male and a female having a intercourse they can see face to face humans only animals no any sort of living creatures no only humans can have intercourse face to face each other by looking at them because head is the good arm brain is there consciousness is there think what you are doing is the right thing or not that is why for humans he has kept he has given that and on top of that as well this desire is trying to overcome and try to ruin our life now let me tell something from our puranas where just a thought of this itself has ruined the family the story was about the sixth avatar of vishnu parashuram parashuram's mom was renuka and dad was jamatakni renuka devi what she does is every day she goes to a river she takes the mud from that and the mud near the banks and she makes a pot she makes a pot and that pot she takes water from that river using that she makes the straight away she makes it but all these days she were doing it with pure thoughts telling that she is going to have a so the pot came out very well but 
One day, when she was trying to make the pot on the banks of river, she saw in the sky two Gandharvas. They were very beautiful. And she just was thinking in a wrong way, just the thought. That day she was trying to make the pot, the pot never came. She was struggling for a long time and then because the pot was not made, she couldn't carry water from the river for the puja, what Chamadagni is planning to do. And as soon as she walked in empty and uh, Jamadagni understood what happened. Immediately, what he did is, he asked his sons one by one to come and cut the head of uh, the mother. But none of the man's, m sons are ready to do it. The first son said no, then Jamadagni cursed him and he was dead. Second son also, same day. Renuka Devi had five, kids, five sons and the last one is the one Parashuram. Parashuram, as soon as dad said, he took the axe and he chopped his mom's head. Just a thought has ruined a complete family there. And later on then Parashuram requested his dad that all of them should be coming back to life. All those other stories, just leave it. But how just a thought can kill someone, that is what I am trying to say here. So, whatever you are doing till now, if it is right, keep doing. If it is wrong, at least now think about it and stay away from it. That's not good for us. That's not good for us. I know people who are into spirituality and God related things are the ones who are watching my videos. So that is why I, I am telling it is not good for us. At the end, every day, everyone has to lead a peaceful life. And this is a small thing which I thought I should say. Because no one is perfect. Everyone makes mistakes. But this mistake is a very, very easy one which can even kill you. That's what I wanted to say in this particular video. Please do take care.